queries are one of the most popular features of Capacities and they've just had a massive upgrade because we've just released variable queries. In this video, I will show you what they are, how they work and how you can really power them up with templates as well, which have also just had a bit of an upgrade. And at the end, I will talk about the difference between the two-way linking properties, which we've just released as well, and variable queries. So you can work out which best suits your use cases. So to start off, what is a variable query and how are they any more useful than what queries already were? I'm in a person page here called Julie, and I want to use a query to collect all meetings that are one-to-ones with Julie in this page for easy access. Now, the old way of doing this is in this query where you would set it up to find meetings where the people involved is explicitly Julie. I've typed out her name to find her and I've said, I want the type to be a one-to-one -one. and I've got those two results. If you had other people that you had one-to-ones with and you wanted to collect meeting notes for them, you would duplicate this query and change the name listed in this property here. That obviously lacks efficiency, but the variable queries solve this. Because what they do, instead of asking you to explicitly list the person's name, it's using the context around it and pulling information from there. So if you have a query embedded in a page like this one, the query can use information on the page and inject that into the query. So the query is saying that it will look at the people involved property and it will try and find a match to whatever the title of this object is, which is Julie. You can see that it's found the same two meetings as a result, but this query can be embedded in another object and the results will update. So if I open up the side panel, you can see this is another person object, this time where the person is called Adam. And I have the same query to show they're the same and they're synced, I can change the name, but I've got different results. And that's because the title of the object that the query is in here, Adam, is different to the title of the object where this query is, which is Julie. So wherever you insert this query, it's going to look for the information of its surroundings. So another way of talking about variable queries is to say that they're context aware. And that's really helpful for you because it means that you create one query and you reuse it wherever you want and you don't have to worry about the configuration anymore. The information is pulled automatically. To set this up, you're used to seeing these three items, but if you just scroll over, instead of having to type out the reference, you can just choose what variable you would like to use. So you've got many options. And of course, the options that you see depends not only on the object that you are in, but also what property you're looking for. This one is a text property, so it looks like that. But there are also other options with dates and such like. So you can just play around with these to find what suits you in the context that you use, and then you just reuse them. But to make it even more powerful, we can put it in a template. And what I've done is I've created a template for this as well. We've just added the ability to add default templates for every object type. Previously, it was just daily notes. So I've applied that default type as well. I created a new person object, which came with that new template as well meaning it also has this variable query ready to go. Now, of course, if you're just starting out with somebody, you're not going to have a one-to-one -one meeting with them just yet. But the second that you do have a meeting with the person and the type one-to-one, -one, it will show up here automatically. So if I add a new one-to-one -one meeting with Beth, and the information is collected for me with no further setup. And that takes away friction in your day-to-day -day, and it also makes it really reliable to use which is a very nice experience it's not just meeting notes for people that can be useful we could also use variable queries to find project meetings so i'll show you how this is set up i'm returning all meetings where the related project includes the title of this object you can see that there are two results here but this same query embedded in a different project returns a different set of meetings because the context is different. There are countless ways that you can use this. 
But you've probably already come across situations where you were thinking, I just wish that I could say this object and instead of having to individually choose or define all of your query parameters. These variable queries can help with all of those examples. These are two examples to get you started. But if you've already played around with our two-way linking, you might be wondering how variable queries are different and more helpful. For example, in this Jane Austen page, I could embed a query like this, where I'm looking for books where the author is this object. And of course, the results of this are the same as the property that I already have. And it's, this is a two-way linked property. So for example, Emma is linked to Jane Austen. And if I remove Jane Austen as the author, the books associated with her are updated and vice versa. So if a variable query and a two-way linked property can give you the same results, what is the benefit of having a variable query? The answer to that is flexibility. Two-way linked properties are a useful and reliable reference. They're easy to update, go into all of these reasons in the video that I did previously about them, but a query is more powerful by design. In a basic sense, it gives you more options for how you want to view these results. And even more so actually, given that we've just added the option to customize table views as well. So you've got different views and that's different to the simple list view that you get with properties. But remember, you've also got all of the normal query functionality. So you don't just have to filter by one property here, author. You could also look at the number of backlinks or tags or if they're books that you've read or not by looking at whether the date finished property is empty or not. You could add another property for word count and, and look for all the books that this author has written that are more than 400 pages. You've got that flexibility with a query because queries are super powerful, whereas this property list is just a reference. So quite honestly, in most cases, defaulting to two-way linking is probably okay. But in the cases that I've shown with meetings and projects, having the ability to view the results of the query in a way that really works for you, for quick reference, for example, is probably more valuable. And in that case, where you would really value the flexibility that a query has, there is no harm in having a variable query and the two-way linked properties. At the end of the day, only you can know what works for your own practices, but these things are easy to test and play around with. If you find a variable query actually isn't being used very much because all queries have backlinks so you can see what's being used and what isn't, you can just delete them and move on. Now, before I end the video, I just want to explain this, this message a little bit. Variable queries have to be embedded into a page like this because that's how it knows what variables it can use. So if you are not seeing a query in this format, you need to open an object and either embed the query here with at or create a query like this. If you do those things, you are gonna have variable queries that are very useful to you with easy setup, no maintenance at all, and the flexibility to be embedded anywhere. Remember, we now have the default templates for every object type so you can play around with that as well and find the powerful query system that works for you. We'd love to hear what you do with variable queries. So if you'd like to share in the comments for others to learn from, please do. But otherwise, enjoy the new and improved queries.